Now, it's been a while since we had fish here in the kitchen, so that is all about to change right now. Indeed, we have a new chef in the kitchen. David Finnerty from the G Hotel in Galway is doing the honours today. You are very welcome, Good morning, David. David. Good morning, David. We'll be gentle with you first yeah, time. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, fish dish, red mullet. Tell red us about mullet, this that's fish. Correct. Yeah, so it's, um, it's a fish that we don't use a lot in Ireland, but it's um, really, really nice, mild flavoured fish. It's, it's really a hugely like popular whatever. fish, though, on the continent. In the a lot of our, a lot of our fish goes over there, yeah. Really? And, and so huge. There's yeah. loads of this off so swimming off the shores of Ireland. No, North Atlantic, uh, North Atlantic there's... Yeah. And, and we don't eat it here. And we don't eat it here, yeah. What would you, what would you compare it to, to give people an idea of a similar taste? Um, would the it be... texture of the meat is quite like sea bass, you know what I mean? That kind of, kind yeah, of flavour, yeah. like, you know what I mean? It's not, not too strong of a flavour. Well, it's a kind of fish even that they use in Asian cuisine, in terms of curries and that, and yes. karmas, they yeah, use this fella in there. Right. It's a beautiful true, fish. Yeah. Well, we're yeah, putting it on the, on the front page today, so how are you, right. what are you doing with it? Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to show you how you guys how to prep it. So when you get it, you're going to have a few pin bones in it here like this. Mm. Very good. Sometimes you can ask your fishmonger to take them out and stuff like yeah. that, but if you've got a little tool like this, it's quite handy, it helps. So if you run your, your finger down there, you're going to feel them. So you just pull them out like that. Nice. Nice. Yeah. On to the next one, pull it out like that. Next one, and then just give it a rub down along. Make sure they're all Make sure they're all It's not nice in your mouth when you get one of those, you know? But your fish monger will do that for you, He they? can do that. Ask him to do that, yeah. That'd he'd be great. He'd basically basically borrow your wife's so. tweezers. Yes, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah, she, she might be too happy, but... <laughs> Clean it afterwards. <laughs> Don't tell her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'll just trim, trim off a little bit of the belly fat there if there's some on it. Is know? it an expensive fish? No, it's not. You can get this, depending on the time of year, right. like 14 to 16 euro a kg. Oh, really? You know, like one portion is going to be, what, 150, 200 grams. So you're going to get a good few portions out of it. you know? So it's not that expensive. And you're leaving the skin on? I'm going to leave the skin on because we're going to crisp that up. Lovely. But um, I'm going to do this one with a Cajun dry rub. So it's a rub that we use in the, oh, in the hotel. Lovely. Okay. So it's our own homemade one here. So just evenly sprinkle that around. So what's in that rub? So in this rub we've got some powdered ginger, powdered garlic, some dried oregano, dry thyme, and then some lemon zest in there. Lovely. Okay. Well, and then most bit, larders bit, would have those things. Mo most people would have them in there. Yeah, then yeah. you can just mix them all together. And a little bit of cayenne pepper, just for a little bit of a kick. Lovely. And when you make your own, you can decide how you hot or how not. There is quite a great thing about yeah, yeah, doing then. stuff like that is that you can make a big batch of it. Yeah. Like that on a chicken this breast, it, yeah. or yeah. you know, something gorgeous. Yeah. Keep it on, keep it up on your, on your shelf. You the know old, what I mean? For the old yeah. barbecued uh, food it, as yeah, well. Yeah, and look, smell just change it. Like you don't have to put the lemon in if you're going to use something else with the meats. You can put some. That smells gorgeous. Like put smoked paprika in there if you're going to use something else. So you just put a little sprinkle on it. Just little, even evenly coat it around. Right. And is it almost like marinade? You're going to let that sit. This is what I'm going to do now. Yeah. So I'm going to let this sit for the next hour before we cook it. In the fridge, yeah, an hour, an hour is an hour before you cook it. We're not, eat, we're not eating for we're not, another we're hour. We're not eating for another hour. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, just you clearly didn't get down. the email. <laughs> You're hungry, are you? I'm really sorry with this. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it's not normally like. So that's basically it. And then you whack that in the fridge. <clears> leave it sit for an hour. I'd let it sit for an hour. Do you know what I mean? You can okay. leave, it, leave it longer than that as well. Okay. No you can even do it the night before. Perfect. Do you know what I mean? It'll be even better. Just let all the spices get in there. So I'm going to do the creme fraiche dressing with as well. We'll get that out of the way and we'll do that now. So this is as easy as you like, guys. Yeah. A bit of creme fraiche in there. Get, get a nice fresh orange. Beautiful. Mm. A little bit of zest in that. But you know what? We've said it all the time on the show when we have our chefs on. It's the, lit it's the sauces, mm. the, the little accompaniments to Layers it. of flavour. That's, That's what I've learned about in the show. It just all lifts of, the dish. Yeah. Yeah. Simplicity, you know? Layers of flavour. simplicity. A little bit of juice in this as well. And look at all the little... The display has here. That's oh, all, yeah. yeah. That's all the stuff for later there as well. Oh, so. yeah. And then I'm going to season this up a little bit of salt and pepper. And then some fresh herbs. So I've got some chives here and some chervil. Chervil. Mm, yeah, so that's really nice in there as well. You know, it goes really well with the fish and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is good because it just gives a nice light note to all the spice and mm. stuff that's going on. It's very as well. light, isn't that chervil? Yeah, 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 it's lovely, yeah. yeah. It's not a yeah. strong herb. Yeah. Is this a good generic um, fish accompaniment that you could make, you could serve? You can change this out for, yeah. you know what I mean, for other types of fish. Yeah. Yeah. For Smell hate. that orange oh, zest is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah it's lovely. Nice. So, and see how simple that is. You know what very I mean? simple. Yeah, yeah, very simple. And that's, that's that one. Done. So that's done. And then yeah. what do you have? So I get the, we're going to get potatoes on as well for it. So I'd get them on now. Okay. So just in cold water, a little bit of salt in there. And then we let them cool down and we'll chop them off for later as well. We'll put them on the frying pan. Okay, and what do you and put then, with, the, with the potatoes? With the potatoes, we're going to have chorizo, garlic, and then again, some nice fresh herbs in there. Saute them up. All right. Nice and crispy. That Beautiful. Meat, so. Looking forward to this. 55 yeah, minutes yeah. now till we... Great stuff. It is, yeah. <laughs> you, you can hang in there. 
<laughs> Good man, Don't forget to make it. Look Thanks forward guys. to it. Right, still to come, Summer Styles over on the catwalk. But up next, time to separate the men from the boys. It's our World Cup final quiz. Have you it's been swapping up? You it's have. All in there. Of course you have. It's yeah, all in there.